They've been swimming gracefully through the seas for millions of years. But a new scientific report says that the jellyfish population is now ballooning out of control. Off the coast of Spain, this team of researchers is looking for evidence that overfishing has taken away their natural enemies. Researcher Veronica Fuentes says that in the absence of predators, jellyfish also feeds on fish larvae and small fish, making it even more difficult for the fish population to recover. We are seeing an increase in, in species, diversity, so new species, invader species appear every, every year in our area. And the species that are local, they seem to be increasing population also year by year. Uh, so this is, a, uh, for example, this year is a year with many, many jellyfish. It's the one with most jellyfish since we started our studies. Experts say that one way to reduce the jellyfish population is to make them more appealing to fishermen. They could be used in medical research, in the development of anti-aging cosmetics, or simply eaten as a delicacy. As the experts say in the report, if you can't beat them, eat them. Despite reassurances by experts on the value of jellyfish, fishermen in this small Spanish port simply don't have an appetite for it. Fishing for jellyfish? No, I don't think it's a good idea. They sting. I've never eaten them, but I can imagine they don't taste nice. If they touch your eyes, you have to go straight to the doctor, because the pain is unbearable. But this problem only started three years ago. Before that, there were no jellyfish here. Now you get some, which are huge. Research on the impact of overfishing and the boost in jellyfish numbers continues. But scientists say that in order to get a clearer picture, more scientific evidence will have to come to the surface. Claudio Lavanga, Al Jazeera, Delta del Lebre.